I finally returned home from Google I.O., which was such a great experience, by the way. As a tech enthusiast, being there in person was awesome as I got to meet a lot of industry professionals and got a firsthand look at some of the new tech live in person. So it was a great opportunity to say the least. That said, Google I.O. 2024 was packed with a ton of Gemini news that I did cover in my previous video, but there were still a lot more very interesting features worth mentioning that we're gonna get into right now. With Gemini clearly becoming the main focus of this keynote, it's safe to say Google's placing a lot of bets on its success. We'll have to wait to see how it turns out on the long term, but here at 9to5Google, we plan to cover as much Gemini news as possible, so if you want to support our work, consider subscribing to the channel, or even better, take a look at our channel membership where we give our dedicated viewers access to custom emojis, exclusive wallpaper packs, and have your name mentioned in the video credits as a way to say thank you. Getting started with part two of our Gemini updates, I want to talk about a new experimental feature announced at Google I.O. within Google Photos called Ask Photos. In general, it looks like Google's trying to leverage the Gemini AI model in Google Photos that will allow users to find important memories with simple natural language queries. Based on the UI renders we saw at Google I.O., it seems like there will be a new Ask tab that appears to replace the search function we have today, where you can enter a voice or text-based prompt to have an interactive dialogue. In practice, users should be able to ask general questions in a natural manner. Some examples given were where did we camp last year or show me photos from each national park I visited where Gemini will analyze your gallery looking at various objects, text, and contextual information to give you a curated list of photos matching that request. Because of its multimodal capability, you can also ask questions about specific items as well. So you can say, show me my license plate number, for example, or when does my voucher expire, where Gemini will search your photos, identify the item in mind, and answer your questions accordingly. Generally speaking, I think this is a pretty useful way to use the power of AI to help you find information much easier, and if you want to try it for yourself, it should be rolling out sometime this summer. Another interesting feature announced at I.O. was some pretty sizable improvements with Circle to Search. To be clear, Circle to Search does not exactly run on Gemini for these upcoming features and more so runs a customized education-focused model called Learn LM, which is based on Gemini, so there's a small difference there. I bring that up because Circle to Search seems to be getting more features geared towards academic use with a new tool designed to help students with homework. Technically, it's a two-part feature with one aspect of Circle to Search being able to give students step-by-step -step instructions on how to solve math and physics word problems just by circling the text. Apparently, this was supposed to go live last week on the day of I.O., but is currently not available on my Pixel Fold, so if you don't see it yet, just be patient as it's probably rolling out in stages. And the second part of that feature is an expansion that will allow users to circle complex math equations like formulas, diagrams, graphics, and other visual elements that we're told is releasing, quote, later this year. Seems like the goal here is to help scholars get important info without having to leave the app they're in, which seems great on the surface. I am curious though, if you're a student of some kind, leave a comment and let me know if you would actually use this assuming it works correctly. I'm interested to hear your thoughts. There was an announcement that definitely took me off guard here as it was revealed that Gemini 1.5 Pro is getting an upgrade with a 2 million token context window. If you've been following the channel, then you remember me talking about the 1 million context window released a while back that already allowed for a massive amount of data to be processed, so upping the ante to 2 million is straight up impressive. For benefits on the user end, this should drastically increase the amount of data you can enter, Gemini should be better at comprehending that data, and responses should be more relevant and valuable. To give you an idea, the 1 million context window we had previously could process up to 1 hour of video, 11 hours of audio, code bases with over 30,000 lines of code or over 700,000 words, and with the 2 million context window, you can process double the data, which is pretty insane. At this time, we don't have any details on when this will be available, although checking Google's website, you can join the waitlist in Google AI Studio or Vertex AI for cloud customers. If you're a Notebook LM user, then we did get some good news as there was a few features that should be helpful to everyone's workflow. First off, if you haven't used this tool, you really need to try it out, especially if you're a student, writer, or researcher because it is incredibly useful. As a whole, it can basically take a ton of your own notes from Google Drive or various source documents and use the power of AI to add additional context in a chatbot-like format. All the communication that you get is based on the sources that you've added to that system and in general has changed the way that I research my videos. Either way, the main big ticket addition announced at Google I.O. is a prototype feature called Audio Overview, which can take the information you upload to Notebook LM and have it create a spoken dialogue discussion from that content. Here's a quick clip of what that looks like. So let's, uh, let's dive into physics. What's on deck for today? 
Well, uh, we're starting with the basics. Force in motion. Okay. And that, of course, means we have to talk about Sir Isaac Newton and his three laws of motion. Hold on, we have a question. What's up, Josh? Yeah, can you give my son Jimmy a basketball example? Basketball is actually a great way to visualize force and motion. Let's break it down. Okay, so first, imagine a basketball just sitting there on the court. As you can see in this short clip, the AI companion is really fast, but they also have multiple hosts talking you through the information in a natural way as if they're your own personal professors that can give you a dedicated learning experience. It seems like an awesome addition for having greater engagement with your research, and if you're someone that benefits from a more traditional student-teacher type interaction, this might be perfect. Just keep in mind, this is technically a pre-generated demo, so I wouldn't get too excited excited until we see this live and in the wild. Additionally, Notebook LM is also set to get Gemini 1.5 Pro with what we assume will be that expanded 2 million token context window and the ability to generate study guides, frequently asked questions, or quizzes. Finally, for our last major new announcement, Google introduced a new version of the Gemini model called Gemini 1.5 Flash. This is more for developers, but wanted to highlight anyways as 1.5 Flash is a lighter weight model compared to Gemini 1.5 Pro, Nano, or Ultra designed for high volume, low latency, and cost efficiency. In theory, this should be quite useful for developers looking to integrate AI into some smaller scale apps, as 1.5 Flash excels at summarization, chat applications due to its speed, image and audio caption, maybe for social media or educational content, not to mention it's also good at extracting data from long documents and tables. Basically, anything complex that requires a fast response should be perfect for Gemini 1.5 Flash. Not to mention, the Flash model will have a 1 million token in context window, so you should still be able to process large amounts of information and is in public preview in Google AI Studio and the Vertex AI platform. So as a whole guys, this keynote was definitely the Gemini show, if you will. We got a ton of updates in search, the Android OS, Google Photos, Workspace, and Cloud. If I had to ballpark it, we probably got upwards of 20 new AI additions, probably closer to 30 with many more on the way. That said, if you tuned into this year's keynote, leave a comment and let me know how you feel about this big AI initiative. Do you see yourself never using these features? Do any of them actually seem useful to you? And was there anything in particular that stood out as a must have add to your everyday workflow? Let me know in the comments, but in the meantime, I'm getting out of here. Of course, huge shout out to our channel members on screen right now for supporting us through all this Google I.O. coverage, and we hope to continue to build this community as time goes on. For those helping today, trust me, you're making a huge difference. Otherwise, this has been Jordan Floyd from 9to5Google. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.